Edmund Eugène Alexis Rostand was a French poet and dramatist. He is associated with neo-romanticism, and is known best for his play Serrano de Bergerac. Rostand's romantic plays contrasted with the naturalistic theatre popular during the late 19th century. Another of Rostand's works, Les Romanesques, was adapted to the musical comedy, The Fantastics. Early life. Rostand was born in Marseille, France, into a wealthy and cultured Provençal family. His father was an economist, a poet who translated and edited the works of Catullus, and a member of the Marseille Academy and the Institut de France. Rostand studied literature, history, and philosophy at the college Stanislas in Paris, France. Career. When Rostand was 20 years old, his first play, a one-act comedy, Le Gant Rouge, was performed at the Cluny Theatre, the 24th of August 1888. But it was almost unnoticed. During 1890, Rostand published a volume of poems named Les Musidizers, a burlesque. Les Romanesques was produced on 21 May 1894 at the Tête Française. It would be adapted during 1960 by Tom Jones and Harvey Schmidt into the long-running American musical The Fantastics. Another early play, La Princesse Lointaine, was based on the story of the 12th-century troubadour Jalfra Rudel and Hodierna of Jerusalem. This play opened on 5 April 1895 at the Tête de la Renaissance. The part of Melisande was created by Sarah Bernhardt but the play was not particularly successful. When Bernhardt performed it in London later the same year, it received a bad review from George Bernard Shaw, but this was not surprising considering Shaw's bias for realism. Bernhardt also was the original photine of Rostand's La Samaritaine, a biblical drama in three scenes adapted from the gospel story of the woman of Samaria. While not a huge success, Rostand felt satisfied that he had proven to the public that he was something more than a writer of comedies. The production of his heroic comedy Serrano de Bergerac, with Benoit Constant Coquelin in the title role, was a triumph. The first production lasted for more than 300 consecutive nights. No such enthusiasm for a drama in verse had been known since the time of Hugo's Hernani. The play was quickly translated into English, German, Russian and other European languages. For his hero he had drawn on French 17th century history. For the play Laglon he chose a subject from Napoleonic history, suggested probably by Henri Welshing as Roi de Rome, 1811-32, which contained much new information about the unhappy life of the Duke of Reichstadt, son of Napoleon I, and Marie-Louise, surveilled by agents of Metternich at the Schönbrunn Palace. Leglon in six acts and in verse, was produced by Sarah Bernhardt at her own theatre, she herself performing the part of the Duke of Reichstadt. During 1902, Rostand became the youngest writer to be elected to the Académie Française. He relocated to Provence during 1903 and for the next seven years worked on his next play Chanticleer. Produced during February 1910, it was awaited with an interest, enhanced by considerable delay in the production, hardly equaled by the enthusiasm of its reception. Lucy and Guitry was in the title role in MME. There were two unfinished and unpublished plays, Yorick and Les Petites Manies. Personal life. Rostand was married to the poet and playwright Rosemond Etienne at Gerard, who, during 1890, published Les Pipo, a volume of verse commended by the Academy. The couple had two sons, Jean and Maurice. During the 1900s, Rostand came to live in the Villa Anaga in Cambo Les Bains in the French Basque country, seeking a cure for his pleurisy. The house is now a heritage site and a museum of Rostand's life and Basque architecture and crafts. Rostand died during 1918, a victim of the flu pandemic, and is buried in the Cimetière de Marseille. Works Le Gant Rouge, 1888, Les Musidizers, 1890, Les de Pierros, Aula Super Blanc, 1891, Les Romanesques.
1894, La Princesse Lointaine, 1895, La Samaritaine, 1897, Serrano de Bergerac, 1897, Laglon, a play in six acts, 1900, Chanticola, a play in four acts, 1910, La Dernera New York de Don Juan, 1921, Le Cantique de Lyle, 1922, Le Volume de la Marseille, 1922.